It's been two weeks since voters hit the polls for the consolidated election, and today the results were made official. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Several races across central Illinois were close, really close. We've got team coverage from your local election headquarters. WCIA 3's Marley Capper is live in Champaign. Cole Henke, they're live in Loama. Marley, four candidates in Champaign ran for three city council spots. That's right, and about 30 minutes ago, we just learned who is going to be leading the city of Champaign, and it all came down to about 60 votes. Now, incumbent Matthew Gladney and former school board member Kathy Shannon won by 27% of the votes. Incumbent Will Kyles and former city councilman Greg Stock both have around 22% of the votes, but Stock lost by 63 votes. Champaign County Clerk Aaron Ammon says only 14% of the 136,000 registered voters participated in this election. He says this close of a race proves why people need to vote. That is atrocious. Okay, I just want to be very honest with you about it. From my perspective, uh, the importance of voting and to have that many people able to vote and have such a small percentage of people who actually participate, I believe that's an indictment of the entire country and the state of Illinois and, and our county. He says another close race was the Rantoul Board of Trustees for District 6. Terry Workman won by 14 votes over his competitor, Mark Wilkerson. Now tonight at 10, you're going to hear from Kathy Shannon and her goals for her first term as a city councilwoman. Reporting live in Champaign, Marley Capper, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Marley, thank you so much.